to another edition of Eric's Product Reviews brought to you by HollywoodFrito.com. I am Eric and today I'm excited to introduce you to my new best friend. This is the ProSynic M7 Pro Robot Vacuum Cleaner. This is absolutely the most advanced, most intelligent robot vacuum I believe on the market. It hits every spot and it does it well. Uh, of course, what you probably want to see more than anything else is this thing in action and see some demo and see what all it can do and what all the app allows you to do, all the amazing controls. I'm going to show you all that really quick. Let me give you a rundown of what those features are. It has laser guidance system. When you start using this, it will map out your floor plan. Once it's done that intelligently, it's exact and perfect then you can tell it exactly where you want to clean uh, or vacuum you can sit it on a schedule because it's smart it knows exactly where it's been instead of going over some areas five times and then missing other areas this will get every area of your house it will not miss a single corner because it knows exactly where it's been it navigates intelligently around everything uh, really brilliant you can set no-go zones that it will not go into. No need for magnetic strips or uh, laser borders that you have to put other things in a doorway to try to keep it from going inside the door. Nope, this has a map and you say don't go here, it won't go there. And you'll see that demonstrated, really intelligent, uh, very powerful 2600 uh, PA suction power maximum, uh, but different modes for quieter or stronger power. It knows whether it's on hard carpet or a uh, hard floor carpet, so if it goes up on a carpet or a rug, after being on a hard floor, it'll automatically increase the suction power that it needs to be at for carpet. It also has a mopping mode. You can, it has a little water tank and a mop you can put on here so that you can also use it to mop the floors. Uh, you also can get an optional intelligent dust removal system so that when it's done cleaning it just backs up and uh, the, the intelligent dust collector just sucks all the dust out of the dustbin so you don't even have to clean the dustbin out yourself every day. This thing is just packed with features. It is amazing. It is intelligent. Uh, like I said, absolutely the best, most advanced robot vacuum cleaner you can possibly look at right now. So I'm sure what you want to see is, okay, those are all great, but does it work? Show me it in action. And that's what we're going to do. I'm going to jump over to a bunch of different videos. I'm going to show you all the different features in action, as well as going to the app, show you how the app is set up, how you use that intelligent mapping system inside the app, how you can program it to clean specific areas or tell it to clean specific rooms uh, when you want. Uh, I'm going to show you all that stuff. When all that's done, we'll come back here and I'll give you my full review and my experience and talk a little bit more about it. But right now, let's jump over to all that demo footage so you can see this thing in action. So this is an example of vacuum in normal mode. This is normal cleaning mode. Right now, it's cleaning the perimeter. It always cleans the perimeter of the room first and then it starts to uh, clean the rest of the room. So I'm going to switch it to high power so you can hear that. So this is super strong mode. And now let's switch it to quiet mode. This is quiet mode. And back to regular mode. You can see on the app that you can see exactly where it's been and where it's going, you can see exactly where it is. So even if you were away from home, you could look on the app during the time that it's going and see exactly where it is and what it's doing. So right now I've told the robot to clean specifically the hallway because you can designate specific areas and you can say, uh, you can go into the app and say just clean this area. So it's just gonna be cleaning the hallway because that's what I've designated. Also you'll see um, that because I have uh, restricted areas, uh, it'll stay out of restricted areas. So the bathroom is not restricted, so it would go in there, except that's not part of the hallway, and I told it to just clean the hallway. But you'll see how smart it is that it 
because it's just coming in the hallway, it knows exactly where to go. It's not going to go in rooms that aren't part of the hallway, even though those doors are open. When it gets to this bedroom, it is going to go just maybe inside the door, based on where I set those boundaries up. Uh, but that's it. It's not going to go. I don't have to worry about that line right there, because I know it's never going to go in that room. I have that as a restricted room, but I have set off limits. So even when it runs its daily thing, and it's not just cleaning the hallway, it's cleaning the whole house, it cleans the whole house minus the restricted areas. So I can leave the doors open. I don't have to worry about the vacuum going in there like I did with the old vacuum, which wasn't that smart. And a lot of vacuums use magnetic strips or things like that you have to put down. Not with this vacuum, because this vacuum has mapped out my house. It knows exactly where it is, and it knows what to do and what not to do. Besides using your phone to control uh, the robot vacuum, you also have this handy remote. So you can use this to control it as well. Uh, so I'm going to tell it to go home. You guys are recharging. So you can see you heard it. So it start recharging as soon as I hit the home button. So now it's going to return home. Of course, because it's a smart vacuum, it doesn't have to take 20 minutes trying to find its way home the way most robo vacuums do. It knows exactly where it is in your house. It knows where its charging base is. So it's going to go straight to the charging base. And what's, what's really cool is the uh, automatic dust bin feature. So it'll find its way home. See, it lines itself up. Now it's going to turn around because it knows that I have the automatic dust collector and so it's going to back itself up to dump the dust that it's collected in the most recent cleaning into that. Now that it's self-emptied its dust bin, which is just awesome, now it's going to turn around and uh, put itself back on the charging base in the correct orientation to be charging and be ready for the next round. Spot clean, that's uh, if you want to put it in a particular spot and have it clean. Keep in mind if you're doing this in an area that's already mapped out, that's part of the normal cleaning, it'll figure out where it is and it'll clean about a 4x4 area. If you put it in a new room, anytime you vacuum in a new room, it starts, uh, it'll use its laser, it'll say I don't know this room and it'll start creating a new map in that room. Uh, but you can always go back to uh, restore map to restore back to your normal map for the normal uh, normal cleaning. So I'm gonna hit spot clean. And you see it says it's spot cleaning. Right now it's trying to figure out, okay, where am I? Where are the borders? And then it's gonna start cleaning. So right now I have the microfiber mop installed and I'm going to uh, go into the app and I'm going to uh, tell it that I want to do a specific zone and I'm going to say that I want it to uh, do this area which is the kitchen and then I'm going to put go to clean. It's 
going to figure out where it is and then it's going to go to the zone I want it to clean and because the mop attachment is on it will mop uh, the y-shaped mopping is specifically for uh, y-shaped mopping and with that you can't do specific zones with that you have to set restricted areas if you want to keep it within a certain parameter so you can do temporary restricted areas um, but with anytime you attach the mop attachment it's going to be mopping uh, as it cleans so because the vacuum is smart it knows when there's the mop attachment is on it so because the mop attachment is there you can have it clean the whole house you can have it clean a specific zone uh, and it's going to operate as the mop meaning it's not going to be vacuuming really hard it will pick up uh, maybe crumbs and stuff but it's not uh, there's not a lot of uh, suction going on because it knows that it's got the mop attachment and it's going to be putting down water. I don't actually have water in there right now. I was just uh, using this because I had already done the Y mop, but I wanted to uh, figure out exactly how the mopping works. And that's what I figured out is that anytime the mop attachment is on there, it's going to be mopping uh, and it's going to be a mopping mode. The Y shaped mopping is specifically for you want when you want it to uh, really mop up an area and a specific uh, that specific Y pattern that really goes over the area good and uh, you can use that when you use that though you can't use the Y mopping in a specific area you have to set up restriction zones in order to limit where it's going to go when it's in that mode but in the normal cleaning mode it'll just mop uh, with the mop attachment uh, and, and clean just like normal clean every uh, area you told it to go to uh, vacuum so I'm gonna go into that app. And uh, now this map is not the map of my actual layout of my home. This is a room that is generally a forbidden room, but I brought the vacuum in here to do spot cleaning in a particular area. Anytime the vacuum starts cleaning, it's gonna ma start mapping out the area. Uh, and so that replaces the map that was there before. Um, but one of the first things I'm gonna show you, there's lots of settings and I'm gonna go through them all, but you see you have this restore map. So you can go to restore map, and you'll see this is my last map that I had so I'm going to say use this map and it's going to restore uh, the map so it is uh, smart in that way it remembers maps you can go back and uh, bring back your saved map without any issue at all now uh, what do all these mean? I'll tell you about that in a minute. First, let's just go through, this through some basic stuff. So you've got your recharge button that'll send the vacuum back to recharge. You've got your clean button that starts the cleaning process. You can change your mode. You've got standard mode. Uh, the vacuum's in here, so you can hear it acknowledging strong mode or quiet mode. And I'll demo those for you if I haven't already. Uh, you can set up restricted areas. Now these red zones are restricted areas. This is one of the coolest things, uh, coolest parts of this uh, vacuum is that you don't need barriers, little magnetic strips or laser barriers to keep it from going into a room. You just set up a restricted area. It's mapped out your house. It knows where it is in your house. So uh, I don't want it to go in this bedroom or this bedroom when we're not home. So I have those restricted. With my old vac, I had to make sure I always closed the door or else the vacuum would go in there and get stuck on clothes on the floor and stuff. With this vacuum, I just make it a restricted area. It will not go in there. And then I also have these green zones. What are these green zones? Well, these are uh, zones that I can now have it specifically clean just those zones. And I'll show you those in a minute. This process is restricted. And you just click this button down here to add a restricted zone. You give it a name and then you click confirm and there you go now you just uh, drag it to resize it put it where you want you click the edit button to edit it when you if you want to get rid of it then you just click the minus button and you get rid of it um, and you can say when you're done you say take effect immediately sure they use sure instead of confirm or yes so now you have uh, your restricted zones now we're going to go uh, in a custom area. Custom area is the opposite of restricted zone. Well, not the opposite, it's just that's the green zone. Custom area, but it works the same way. So if you add a custom area, you click the little add custom area button, you give it a name, you click confirm, 
and now you have the same thing except it's green and uh, you can just move it to where you want it and you can give that a uh, custom area so same thing when you're done with it or when you if you don't want it there anymore uh, you click the edit button edit the drag bar to drag and resize it you move it around uh, like just putting your finger over it and you get rid of it you hit that little negative sign that takes it away and uh, I don't know why it says save area temporarily but basically that's your save button and that's what you want to do to make sure you save your areas and so now you see I have my restricted zones which are red it'll never go into these zones unless you put it in the zone and, and do it separately but on its normal cleaning it's going to stay away from those I can leave that door open I can leave that door open it won't go in there the green zones are for something else and I'll show you that and the other additional settings if you hit the more button down here you get lots of other cool options so you can get device information that just gives you the information about the device uh, you can get a positioning robot that just in case you lost it you don't know where it is if you hit that you hear that it makes a noise remote control gives you a remote to make it go start it go forward go backward turn right turn turn right turn left uh, so that's your remote control uh, which I don't really use that much or ever really because uh, yeah it, it's the point of having a Robovac is to not control it it's to let it do its thing especially with one this advanced but it is there for you if you want it uh, click to collect dust that's if you want to manually make it collect dust in your dust collecting uh, automatic dust collecting bin uh, you click that it'll do that auto petition area now that's if you want the uh, Robovac after it's mapped out your area to auto partition into separate areas for you instead of setting up zones yourself it can auto partition for you deep cleaning that's to tell it to clean twice so that's if your floor is really dirty uh, you've had a lot of traffic through uh, then you do deep cleaning it'll do the entire area twice instead of just once normally it just does the area once and because it's so smart it's not like other vacs with other robo vacs you get some areas once some areas five times and some areas you might miss with this vac it knows exactly where it has and hasn't been so it gets everything uh, so it'll do everything once on a normal cleaning but if you do deep cleaning it'll do it twice multi-zone cleaning if you click that this is where those uh, zones that you set up go so anything that's checked is a zone that you want it to clean so I can click that I want it to clean that area and it will only clean that area and then I click go to clean and it would just clean the area this zone here or I can have it clean this zone and then clean that zone and it'll clean each of those zones so if you have a particularly high traffic area then you can set up a zone for that and you may have it clean that zone an extra time let's go back into those settings uh, you have uh, Y-shaped mopping and that's when you're using the mop you put the mop in there you, you do Y-shaped mopping and it's going to uh, instead of just going over a place once it kind of goes back and forth to really uh, mop it good uh, a point clean now that is uh, similar to uh, spot clean except you use the map you instead of putting the vacuum in a particular room you just take this little uh, pointer here and let's see there we go so wherever you want it to go you just touch and it jumps to that and when you click start it's going to leave its base it's going to go to that point exactly and clean about a four by four foot square in that particular area so if you have a spill maybe a kid was running through and spilled something right here you can put it there you hit start it's going to go right there and do a four by four uh, cleaning uh, area and there, there was a save button up there, so after you do that, you have to hit the save button, and then it starts. So let's go back. Uh, other options, spot clean. That's if you put it in a particular spot yourself. So instead of a point clean, it's where you tell it where to go, and it just goes and does it. Spot clean is kind of the same thing, except you're picking up the vacuum. You're setting it where you want it to establish the four-foot uh, perimeter, and then you hit spot clean. Now, when you hit spot clean, it is going to use its laser for mapping so if it's in uh, if it's if it's in a place that it normally cleans it's going to recognize where it is if you put it in a new room it's going to start mapping that area and create a new record and that's when you 
after that might need to go to restore map to go back to the normal map. Um, I showed you restore map already. Silent mode, that just puts it into uh, silent mode. You can see. So during this period, it will stop. It won't do the automatic clean. So this is just you want to turn automatic cleaning off for a couple of days for some reason. You just put it in silent mode, and it won't do the automatic cleaning that you have set up scheduled to do, um, or make any noises. Uh, and you'll see the automatic schedule in a minute. Go back, and that's right here. Time cleaning. So you click that, and you'll see. You can have different things. So I have it set that uh, Monday through Thursday. It cleans at 8 a.m. and I use the power power mode, so it's a good clean. And then on Saturday and Sunday, because we're generally home around that time, I have it not starting until 10 a.m. and I have it in standard mode, so it's a little bit quieter because I don't want it to be as loud when we're around. So a louder, more powerful mode during the week and a slightly uh, lesser on the weekends. And you can do uh, however many you want. You just click the plus button here. And you'll see, you can decide how often you want it to do, what time you want it to start, uh, the cleaning mode, and you can select the area. So if you want it to clean a specific area uh, an additional time, again, maybe you have a high traffic area, a hallway or something, and you want this area to be cleaned uh, vacuumed twice. So you could have it do the whole area once in the morning, and then have it do this area a second time later in the afternoon if you want. So again, just brilliantly smart uh, all the different things that you can do and you can choose when you're doing that you know whether you want it to clean in standard mode quiet mode or powerful mode so uh, that is the scheduling and then the last thing up here is the clean record this is cool uh, you can go in here and you can see where it cleaned and how it cleaned so on the 12th you see exactly where it cleaned you can see where the restricted zones were, I was doing mopping on this, and so I, just, I did only wanted it to mop a certain area, and it shows you exactly the path where that thing went. Go back a little further. Uh, on this day, it cleaned everything, and you can see, you see, it shows you the exactly where that vacuum went. Every single little trail you can see on there, so you know exactly uh, what was and wasn't clean without any issues at all. So uh, anyway, those are the settings. Uh, that's all the stuff you can do in the app. As you can see, a uh, really robust app allows you to take full control and most importantly, automate the process so that you don't have to worry about it. You can just sit back and relax and let the RoboVac do its thing. So as you can see, this is one amazing uh, robot vacuum system, including this intelligent uh, dust collection system. Uh, after each cleaning, the vacuum just backs up into this and this sucks all the dust out of the dust bin, all that dirt and stuff, so that you don't have to empty it every night. This opens up, there's the bag in there, and once that's full, it'll give you an indication link to let you know that it's time to empty that and replace that bag. Uh, but in the meantime, this you know, nice style and design to this, looks really good uh, sitting there and that's your dock where it goes to dump the dust and then uh, get back in the charging dock to charge and be ready for next time. Uh, I found this vacuum to work great. Everything about it, I mean, it's got that laser guidance system that is amazing. It's got sensors all over it so you don't have to worry about it running into stuff or falling down the stairs. Uh, won't do any of that. It's got these great big wheels. Gets up on carpets without any problem. Uh, the suction power is great. The fact that you have all those different, you can go quiet. So I have it programmed to go quiet when we're home on the weekends and I have it cleaning. But during the week when we're not here, I have it on a more powerful suction. If you need a deep cleaning, you can tell it to do a two-time cleaning. You can specify rooms. If you have a spill, you can send it to a specific area. And it's intelligent. It knows where it is because it's mapped out everything. It returns to its base intelligently. Uh, with vacuums I've had before, when they return to their base, sometimes it would take them you know, 15 minutes to find, figure out how to get to their base because they don't really know where they are. This one knows where it is. It's, it's got a map and it knows where it is on that map and it knows how to get exactly, just navigates right back there. Uh, everything about this vacuum to me is truly amazing. This is the absolute best uh, robot vacuum I've ever, ever uh, used and this is the fourth one I've owned. This one 
takes the cake with all the features. This is exactly what you want when you think of a robot vacuum cleaner, something that is actually not just cleaning and not just automated, automatically cleaning, but is also smart and is doing it intelligently. And this does that, it gets every uh, square inch of the floor, it doesn't miss a spot because it knows exactly where it's been. And the fact that you also have that mopping option, which you're probably not gonna use every day. Every day you just have it vacuum and clean, but then maybe once a week, throw that mop on there with a water tank and then have it go over the floor of the mop. And uh, now the mop it isn't gonna scrub the floor, obviously it's not scrubbing, it's just going over the floor, but that's gonna just you know help you keep your floor clean on a regular basis. Uh, it makes it so it doesn't ever get you know super, super dirty if you're doing it on a regular basis, and that's what this thing allows you to do. Super intelligent, don't have to worry about leaving doors open with rooms I don't want it to go into. I just mark that as a no-go zone, and it won't go in there because it knows exactly where it is on the map and you mark it as a room as a no-go zone, it won't go in that room. Very, very intelligent, awesome robot. Again, it is by Procynic and it's called, this is called the M7 Pro. The uh, intelligent dust collect collector is optional. You don't have to get that. Uh, in the box with this, you get the uh, system itself. You get extra, uh, Extra filtration system comes in the box. A lot of these will co just come with one filter. This comes with extra filters in the box. Comes with extra brushes in the box. Uh, comes with uh, the reusable microfiber uh, mop uh, edition, as well as several of the disposable mops uh, so that you can use whichever one you want to use. The microfiber you can use over and over again. Everything you need is in the box and extras. And then you can get that intelligent uh, dust collection system separately if you want and all of this is, is priced very very well it is available on Amazon I'm gonna have a link in the description below to this product on Amazon as well as I'll have a link to the uh, Procynic website so you can check it out there too if you want um, but uh, if you're in the market for a robot vacuum cleaner this is gonna be a little bit more expensive than some of the cheaper ones but that's because of what this does Trust me, it's worth it. It's worth the investment to spend a little bit extra money and get one that works intelligently like this. Uh, definitely uh, a good buy and one I would highly, highly recommend. Anyway, uh, those links are down there. If you want to click those links, jump over to Amazon or the Procynic website, read more information about it, see what other people have said about it, and pick one up for yourself. Anyway, that's going to be it from this review. If you like this review, please click that like button. If you know anyone who might be interested in this product, please share this video with them. All those ways are down there. If you have any questions, maybe something I failed to cover uh, in this extensive review, then uh, feel free to post it in the uh, comments below, and I'll do my best to get back to you as quickly as I can with an answer. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to this playlist to keep up with future product reviews, or go ahead and subscribe to my channel and keep up with all my videos. Anyway, that's going to be it. Until next time. So have a great day.